so you want to learn how to create these music video hits for your next video well then you clicked on just the right video because in this tutorial i'll be breaking down how i create these hits and i'll also be giving out a free preset pack for you guys so stick around to the end for that and let's get right into it so i'm in premiere pro right now but essentially you can create these kind of hits in any editing software like it doesn't need to be premiere i've done these hits in after effects as well and the first thing that i'll be doing is dragging on an adjustment layer to this clip and then i'll make it like six frames long so i'll go one two three four five six and then cut it right there and the first effect that i'll be adding on is an offset effect and i'll drag it onto the adjustment layer and this is just so we can move the clip to the left and the right and still have this kind of motion tile in there so what i'll do is actually keyframe the shift edge right here let's drag it in like five frames in and keep it right there and for the first frame i'll change the shift center to 50 so we can create a vertical hit and then I'll go one frame in and then I'll change it to 650 like this so it will go down and then all the way up and then for the next frame I'll have it go back to 260 and then we can keep like two frames in between and then you can go back to normal like this so if I play it through right now it won't be smooth at all but but we will be working on it and make it as smooth as possible so this is what it looks like right now which isn't like what we're looking for but we're well on our way i'll add on a directional blur now so i'll drag it onto the adjustment layer and i'll keep the direction at zero that way it will be a vertical blur and then i'll drag up the blur length to like 150 somewhere around here and i'll keyframe the blur length at that and then i'll drag it one frame after our offset keyframes and then change it back to zero so let's select our keyframes for this one and press ease in so now if i play it through it looks like this which is a smooth horizontal hit right when the clip comes in right there and i'm happy with that you can also have it like in between your clips like this if you like that these are just very common in music videos and i actually got a full pack with like 50 of these hits uh, for both premiere pro and after effects see if i open up essential hits and movement you can see i got a map with flash and one without flash and you can see we got all these presets here horizontal hits vertical hits zoom hits and all of that good stuff they don't require any paid plugins but back to this effect you can also add on a brightness and contrast effect if you want to have some kind of flash so like for the first frame here i can drag up the brightness to like 77 keyframe that one and then go like one or two frames let's do one frame in turn turn it back to zero no actually let's do two frames and then one frame drag it up a little bit let's do like 40 and then right here drag it back that way we'll have some kind of flash in between yeah but you can see right now we got this spots right here because of the directional blur so just drag the brightness contrast on top of your blur and now it's gone so it looks a little bit better now so now i'll show you guys how you can create a horizontal hit which is basically the same kind of hit but horizontal instead of vertical so i'll add on a transform effect and i'll drag it onto the adjustment layer and as you can tell if i move the position right now we don't have the motion tile with the transform effect and i'll change the scale to 190 and let's key from that and then i'll drag out my position like this all the way till i can see this black part where the clip ends and i'll just stop it right there and let's key from this and then go one frame in and i'll change it back to like minus 50 and once again just try to not get the back parts so around right there and let's go one frame in and change it to like 1400 and then i'll go one frame in and change the position to 570 and change the position to 570 like this then go one frame in once again and then i'll change it up to 1000 and then once again one frame in change it to 500 and then last frame right here we can press this reset button and we're back at the normal position and we can also do the same for the scale so now if i play through we got this which isn't smooth at all but we will work with that so let's scroll down right here and you can see our shutter angle let's turn this one up to 180 that way we'll have some motion blur and if it looks like this for you then it's probably way too much so let's do like 100 and this is a little bit better so let's work with this because we will add some blur on as well 
so let's add on a directional blur like we did last time and let's drag it onto the adjustment layer but this time we will be messing with the direction and turn it up to 90 and then let's turn up the blur as well to like 225 and drag it back to the first frame over here and then one frame after all of the effects ends we can bring it back to zero and let's mess with the keyframes and ease them in like that and that looks good i'm happy with that it's a clean effect and if you want to add a flash on like we did last time let's add on a brightness and contrast we don't gotta do too much this time let's just keyframe go two frames in turn it up let's do 60 go two frames in turn it down to zero go one frame in turn it up a little bit like this and then turn it back down to zero the yeah, only thing that's not looking good right now is this part. So let's just move it back a little bit like this. And I'm pretty happy with this. It looks it looks great. Now if you guys want to grab some free presets, I'll have my Say Creative Starter Kit linked in the description. Inside that pack you'll get both of these presets as well as one of these night vision effects from my open presets and also some after effects presets and a couple overlays i'll show you guys real quick so it comes with a guide how to use it and some presets in here we got this vortex blast in after effects from my trippy backgrounds pack a shade a black and white opium effect and a couple of sound effects and some overlays as well as this one from my money overlays pack so if i drag it on just like this i'll show you guys what it looks like yeah, and you got a transition in between there. So if you line up your money overlay correctly like this, right between the cut, like that, then you'll have a clean transition. That one is crazy, I love this pack. So yeah, go and grab it for free, link to the description, as well as all of the other free presets. And I hope you guys learned something new. You can also feel free to go and cop my paid packs which helps me create more videos just like these. And you guys have been supporting me like crazy lately, so I appreciate you guys. And thank you so much for watching, but I'll see you guys in the next one.